The library's catalog, which loads right up on our home page, is the database you use to find our books, ebooks, CDs, and DVDs. It's pretty straightforward, but there are a couple of important things to be aware of to get the best results. The purpose of a library catalog is to show you what we have, where you can find it, and whether it's available at the moment. For example, when I search for prisons, the catalog shows me that we have 200 items with the word prisons in the record. The first one is a physical book with this book icon, and here under location you can see that it's a circulating book. It's one you can check out. It will be in the main bookshelves, on, in the H's, which is social sciences, and then you'll see HA, HB, HC, and so forth, until you get to HV, which is social pathology, and then just follow the numbers. When you get there, be sure to look around the shelves, because other books on the subject will be in that same area. And the catalog also says that it's available. No one else has it checked out right now, so it should be on the shelf for you. If you have any trouble finding it, just ask any of the library staff. And by the way, if you ever don't find an item that should be on the shelf, please be sure to let the librarian know so we can try to track it down. If it's gone missing, we'll need to make a decision about replacing it. You'll find that a lot of our books now are ebooks. We actually have about 50,000 ebooks compared to about 30,000 physical books on the shelves. Instead of the location information, the ebooks will show a website link like this. That link will open the ebook. You can also get to an ebook by clicking the title and then clicking the view full text link. If you haven't used our ebooks, I'd encourage you to take a look at our video demo for those. But back to our search. I'll return to browse to get back to the result list for prisons. The catalog has kind of an unusual but useful way of grouping your results. Of our 200 items, the catalog found 16 that it thinks are the most relevant ones. And within that group, it's listed the most recent first. Once we get past 16, it shows the next group, which it labels highly relevant. And then we get to the group it labels very relevant, and it thinks all the rest of the books in that list are in fact very relevant, but sometimes you'll see uh, even lower categories. Up at the top of the list, you can change the sort. It's automatically in those relevance groupings, but you can change that to sort strictly by date or strictly by title if you prefer. If you click on a title, you get more information about the book, such as a list of contents and sometimes other notes that can help you decide if it's a good source for your project. When you search for something by keyword, as we just did, the software is looking through all of this information to find your term. Remember that it is not searching the full text of the books. You can see that in this case, it found the term prisons in the title of the book. And while we're here, notice that the catalog does have all of the information that you'll need to write up your MLA or APA citation for your Works Cited list. Now, very importantly, the catalog will also show you subject headings for each book. Notice that although I asked for books about prisons, the subject term they're using here is imprisonment. So I'll add that to my search using an OR and ask for items that mention either prisons or imprisonment. And that does bring up quite a few more items. Using those subject headings can be a really important strategy for finding the best material, so be sure to watch for them. Very often, especially if you have a long list of results like this, you might want to use the Modify Search button to go to the Advanced Search screen, where you can limit your search in various ways if you like. You can change the way your results are sorted here. You can set a date range, maybe the last 10 years or so, and you don't have to give it an end date. Then here you can choose just the printed books if you like, or if you only want to find the books you can read on your laptop, your tablet, or smartphone, you can choose just the eBooks. Under Collection, you could limit your search to just the circulating books if you like. I'm going to leave that one set to Any. And if I click Submit, we find that a hundred of the books in our original list are ebooks published since 2005. Now here's another example where we can really make use of those subject headings. If I search for Love in the catalog, it shows me about 1900 result items. I'm going to sort these by date, just to show you that a lot of those books aren't really about love. They just happen to have that word in a chapter title or note. If you have a search like this that gives a lot of false hits, try going to that advanced search screen and changing the field from any to subject. Now we have close to 300 books that are really about some aspect of love. If we open them, they'll all have the word love in the subject field. 
Notice that the search box now shows D colon love. The D is for descriptor, which is just another word for a subject term. So again, it's just showing that these are books with the word love in the subject field. Now, of course, computer programs always give you several ways to do things. If I go back to that first big result set, notice that I can also choose to search in the subject headings right from here. But this takes you to a little different place, so I want to explain that. We're now looking at the list of subject headings in the database that start with the word love. We can see that there are 65 books with a subject heading of just plain love, and we can see that list by just clicking on the link there. But there are a few other things worth exploring here. Watch particularly for related subjects. They may help you pinpoint a direction for your research. If you're interested in the psychology of love, you might want to focus on attachment behavior. Or maybe you want to look specifically at courtship, or intimacy, or perhaps maternal love. I'll go back to browsing the subject headings. As you explore your topic, it can help to just look through the list of subjects that come up. For example, if we're looking into love addiction, this list shows you that the catalog uses the term relationship addiction for that. That's a link, so you can click on it to see the books on that topic. Or perhaps you'd like to explore love in literature or psychological aspects of love. Now going back to the basic search screen, here are a few more search tips. First, I'll just point out that you can choose a material type right here if you like. But to our search, if I'm looking for books about learning and disabilities, I'd probably want a book that uses the word disability or perhaps disabled. Now if I chop this word off at the B and stick an asterisk on there, that asterisk will now stand for any additional letters, so that will retrieve books with any of those words, disabled, disability, disabilities. And I get a few hundred items. You can add more terms to narrow a search. I'll ask specifically for just the books that deal with teenagers. And again, it could be useful to truncate that to teen. That will get me teen, teens, teenager, teenagers, teenaged, any of those variants. That takes me down to just nine items. Now books about teenagers might be calling those people adolescents. So I'll add that one in there as well with an or. Notice that I'm using parentheses here to group teenagers or adolescents. We'll come back to that in a moment. And of course I can use yet another truncation here to pick up adolescent, adolescents, and adolescents the state of being an adolescent. And that picks up quite a few more items. Okay, about those parentheses. When you're using ORs, be sure to use parentheses to show the search engine how you want to group your terms. This search gave me 37 relevant items. Now watch what happens if I leave out the parentheses. Now I get 729 books, and they're not about learning disabilities. Do you see what happened here? I've told the catalog to find me books that have the word learning and some form of disabled and some form of teenager, or are about adolescence anything to do with adolescence. So if you're doing a complex search like this, use those parentheses to group your terms. And finally, with some searches, you might want an exact phrase. Remember that this is searching for records with the word climate and the word change. If you only want books that use that exact phrase, climate change, just put it in quotation marks to tell the search engine to retrieve only items with that exact string of characters. And those are some tips for getting good results from a library catalog. Experiment with terms to see what works best, and always check for those subject terms. Use the More Search options from here, or the Modify Search if you've already done a search, to go to that Advanced Search screen where you can put your limits on. Remember that it can often be useful to use an asterisk, the truncation character, to stand for additional letters. Use parentheses to group terms with OR and use quotation marks to search for exact phrases. Enjoy your research, and if you're having any trouble getting good results from the catalog, just ask your librarian for assistance.